Let's talk about where we really are in web design right now because the industry has changed massively and not in the way that most people think. Everyone keeps saying that AI has taken over or no one's going to need a web designer anymore. That is not true. What's actually happened is that the value of what clients pay for has shifted. Five years ago, clients paid for pages. They'd say something like, I want a five page website and a contact form. Now they don't just want pages, they want outcomes. They want more bookings, they want more leads, they want more trust, they want more sales. That is what this new era of web design is all about. So when someone says, I need a website, what they're really saying is, I need something that moves my business forward. In the new world, that's what we need to be designing for. Every layout, every line of text, every interaction must be built around that outcome. Yeah, sure, AI can build you a page in 30 seconds. It can pick fonts and sections and even suggest colors. But here's the big thing. AI does not understand context. AI does not understand emotion. And AI definitely doesn't understand what actually converts a human being who's got 10 tabs open and 10 seconds of patience. AI is just a tool, just like Elementor. As web designers, we're different than AI because we think, we connect, we understand goals. So don't fear AI, just make sure that you use the tools intelligently to work for us. Here are the things that still matter today and always will. Clarity. If someone lands on your website and can't instantly understand what you do, then you've lost them. Speed. Because a slow website is a polite invitation to exit. Trust. Testimonials, case studies, reviews, these all drive human decisions. Accessibility. People need to be able to use your website and not just look at it. Story. If your content feels robotic, fails to form a connection, then people are just going to scroll past it. Everything else, new widgets, animations, trends, these just come and go. But if you get those five things that I mentioned in place, they are the things that are going to win you business and help your clients. Let's have a quick chat about clients. Believe it or not, they're actually smarter now. They've been burned before. They've watched YouTube videos. They've probably tried using Wix or Squarespace. They now know that making a website isn't magic anymore. It doesn't just happen. And they definitely know that they can't get to page one on Google overnight. So what do clients want from you? It's really simple. They want someone who understands them, someone who can take their business filter out the noise and deliver something that looks great and works. And that's why from now, and one of the things I will drum into you during the course is that you're not selling websites anymore. You're selling understanding. When clients hire you, they're buying your thinking. They're buying your system. They're buying peace of mind. So every part of this course, the layouts, the clamp formulas, the accessibility, the SEO, all of this is going to tie back to one core principle. And that is building something they can rely on. Now, I won't avoid the truth. Elemental has been through ups and downs. Some people love it. Some people hate it. But right now, it's one of the most flexible, fastest and most mature visual builders you can use. And I'm not just saying that. If you know how to use it properly with containers, clamp, variables, clean templates, then you can build almost anything. We're going to use Elementor properly and we won't be bloating it with add-ons or stacking widgets all over the place. When you master Elementor, you're going to transform from being a page builder to a web designer who's leveled up on speed, strategy and control. Here's what defines a great web designer today. You understand visual hierarchy, what to show first, and what to leave out. You understand conversion, how to turn attention into action. You understand performance, what is going to slow your website down and how to fix it. And you understand accessibility. How will people experience the website? These are the skill sets that this course will drill into you in a nice way. The main thing is to not chase trends. It's to master principles first. So in the next video, we're going to set up your workspace properly, your foundation. So you start strong and you never build with bad habits again.